The top chart of this market is what I went through in the 70s. And you can see that the market peaked out in the 70s and it went back and forth, back and forth because we had a huge problem in the 70s. The same problem that I'm worried about today. Arthur Burns, the Fed, and Lyndon Johnson opened up the spigots of printing money and they created inflation that nobody could believe. It was running at 12 to 15 percent. We had 17 percent BAA rates. The average price went to seven and a half times earnings, not 10. And this market went into a major recession. We had price controls. We had the Nixon impeachment. Every problem you can imagine we were faced with. And that's why I decided to start Century Management, because I felt with the prices of the stocks at that point that I could only do one thing. Either we were going to go off the map or I was going to make a lot of money. And I liked those odds about making money. So I went ahead and started Century Management because of that evaluation, not because I knew that we were going to work out of it. So during that time, the market kept moving back and forth as the problems were resolved. You won't believe this, but when Nixon announced price controls, which is the worst thing that can happen to an economy, the stock market actually moved up. Nobody could believe it, but the market actually went up until the reality came in and they saw what damage the price control did, and then, of course, the market came back down. But if you look at that gray area that I pointed at, that's about 12 times earnings, and that means that every time you bought into that zone, the intrinsic value zone, you could make money 80% of the time, which are real good odds. Now, you notice another thing. Two times it went below the, the value zone because it went to 10 times earnings and lower. Just like today, we've had two periods, 202 and 209, where it actually dropped below that value zone from 12 times because it went to 10. But you can see how little time it spent there. So, despite all of the problems we have, I expect for the next few years that this market will roll up just like it has been lately, and it could come back down very sharply, and it's going to keep going back and forth, and as long as we trade this market properly, we're going to be able to manage through these difficult times. 